For us, there was no information out there. We were just given a name. Um, we were told to prepare for the worst at the time. Amy was really quite poorly. That was it. I was told that her uh, development would now start to slow down. Um, Amy at this time was two and a half. Um, and I came home and you, and you do, you look on the internet and at the time there was nothing. There was, there was nothing. Um, what there was was very bleak. Um, so after a while I, I stopped looking. Sixteen years on, I don't know why, but something made me look again on the internet and I found Drive Syndrome UK. Um, and I couldn't believe it. I'm thinking, wow, you know, she's not the only person in the world to have got Drive Syndrome. And it's made such a huge difference to all our lives. comes across as being more able than she is um, and people misunderstand Amy. We've had a lot of problems through school, through college, where they've just took for granted that Amy's more able than what she is. So now Amy's an adult, I find the seizures are more difficult to um, handle um, moving Amy. That's difficult. When she was little, it didn't matter where we were, what we were doing. I could just scoop her up and off we'd go. Um, now I, can't, I physically, I can't move Amy. And injuries, um, injuries get much uh, worse. Now she's an adult, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. She's, she has had some nasty injuries lately. Recently, um, she broke her neck. It has been hard, I mean, I've had questions before where people say, how has it affected you? And sometimes I sort of think it's quite of a hard question to answer because I'm thinking, well, I don't really know because it's just something I've grown up with. It's gotten a lot harder as I've got older, but I think that's because I've understood it more. I've seen horrific things that I, no sibling should ever have to see. I've always thought Amy would stay at home. Um, it's only probably been this last year that I've started to think about Amy leaving home. I'm quite sure Amy would love it. I think Amy would grow even more as a person and it would give Amy that independence that only recently I think Amy wants, so for that reason I think we will look into it in the next couple of years. But for, for the time being she lives at home with us, she attends Fair Play four days a week which is a independent living group and it is the most amazing place, it's, it's a fabulous place. Uh, I can take Amy there, leave Amy there and I know she's well looked after. My biggest fear is her life isn't fulfilled enough. I don't want her to just exist. I want her life to be fulfilled, to have a purpose, to get up in the morning and, you know, have a full day planned. <laughs>